it's early morning here on the Costa del Sol in the southern tip of Spain the Gold Coast Does that sound make you homesick? Yeah, the waves love it oh, Love it, this is like the Gold Coast at home what we call the Gold Coast <laughs> yeah, This is where we're staying Yeah, this is the Gold Coast of Spain Hotels, bars, restaurants they're all here dark sand beach waves are ho-hum not like ours but nevertheless it's a bit of a bleak morning this morning but it's 22 23 degrees and we're heading back that way this morning to the rock the rock of gibraltar the rock of can gibraltar can you see now yes oh it's going to be busy i can see there two cruise ships can you see those on your right hand side? And then you see most of those high buildings, financial and apartment buildings, all that is in reclaimed land, all that is artificial land. Well, if you have, if you want to have a 100% British uh, experience, then I will recommend you to uh, eat uh, for lunch to have some remember yeah, about going to the border a uh, passport national spanish police just after that to put it away because we have to show it to the Gibraltarian police and we wait until me too <laughs> just this passport control there that's the spanish one we just come through that yeah, I think we've got to go through the British one, which is just over there. So now we are in Gibraltar, just come through the British control. Simple. Just walk in, stand on the Spanish side, keep going through to the British side where you get a they don't get a stamp they just check it and have a quick look the wave is really pretty uh, pretty painless pretty quick and just keep walking walk across to the Gibraltar airport we don't actually get to walk the runway like I was hoping it would do apparently we catch a bus from here and there's actually a tunnel now that uh, that you go under airport Bathrooms, and I'm going to do it like maybe plan attendant would do it. So for bathrooms, to uh, my left and side, just over there, you see the sky shop. There's a shop there, and just on the side, that's a single for the for the bathroom. Yeah. So uh, this runway still belongs to the Royal Air Force, right? It's Air Force property. Left side is the east side. We are going along the north to the west side because, of course, you want to see something, yeah. Right, okay. So, there are loads of buildings here, all built by the government for the people of Gibraltar. So the people of Gibraltar here, they can buy them. And it's like, a, it's the city hall. So, a bit further on the right, there's a fortification. And remember, the bay was here behind the wall. And this fortification is called King's Bastion, was built in the 18th century because after 1713, a couple of years later, the Spanish all of a sudden decided, oh no, we should have not given Gibraltar to England, we want it back. So they were attacking Gibraltar several times. That's why they built these fortifications here to defend Gibraltar against vessels coming from the bay. So, of course, now it's not used for military purposes anymore. Now it's a leisure center. Inside you will find a bowling alley, discotheque, restaurant, cafes, and so on. How's the coffee? <laughs> so on the left hand side here you can see there's a synagogue here. This part is called Wellington Front and this wall was built in 1850 by convict labour. So why convict labour? Because at the time all the prisons in England were packed and they didn't know what to do with all the criminals. But luckily they discovered Australia. 
Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, shit. You <laughs> sure it isn't? So, okay, right. So behind, we've got the shipyards here. Shipyard, right there, three entrance to the bay, more or less. And over there on the right hand side there's a big port, the port of Algeciras. So it's one of the most important container ports in the Mediterranean Sea and also there's a huge ferry terminal. So if you want to go to Morocco, you can go from there. Every hour a ferry is leaving going to Tangier. It was King Fahad bin Abdulaziz al Saud. Oh yeah. I think his wife just bought it Paco. <laughs> Okay, so now at your point, you can see there's a football stadium on the right hand side, but it's not used for football anymore, mainly for rugby and cricket, because the most of the time it's very windy here. So, you kick the ball to the left, goes to the right. So then, the lighthouse here, and because I'm such a nice driver, I'm going to stop here for a couple of minutes, and if you want, you can get out, do some ice work. Rolter. And there she is, the rock. Even on this wet and rainy day, still very impressive. Belong to the military, but now it's open for public. When you look down there, you can see Rocha Bay. You remember the age of his victory. Anyway, gives us no time to talk about it. So, right now you can, can you see? Yeah. yeah. So you can. Thank you. You got me cheap. Thank you. Yeah, look at that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he jumped on me. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have any food. <laughs> No, like, it's the first yeah. time he. Yeah, it's the first time he. Yeah. The monkey jumps on Yeah, I see. <laughs> so these are St. Michael's caves. We've just entered them. I'm just waiting on our guide. Okay. Just you can you can just wait for me. In there a bit. There okay. Reach. All right. I've just entered these caves. There's 52 kilometers of tunnels in the rock. This is just just some of them. So yeah, very dark and dingy, damp. This way, people. And <laughs> yeah, we're just going to wait here. It's going to be really hard to see. Um, wow! Oh my God! This is just. Unbelievable. <clears throat> really, it's hard to see it on the GoPro because of the light. But... The auditorium in St. Michael's Cave. Gibraltar Straits Bay, the Rosa Bay. Did you see the little baby monkey? Uh, not a baby one.
cousin. Oh my gosh. Is that any little fella? He wanted to take. He wanted. Happy. Yes. Yes. Guys, turn around. Yeah. Oh, I got a good one. frontier every day to work in Gibraltar right so the most of them are Spanish but also they are different kind of like uh, they are foreigners like me I'm not gonna tell you where I'm from really yeah to keep a secret okay I can't tell you okay. it's on the last prison of war Fortress, what is nearly a thousand years old if you believe it or not this building here so and you can see like holes in the wall. These are impacts of cannonballs because Gibraltar was besieged 14 times, 90%. All the houses and buildings were destroyed. Also, unfortunately, the fortress because there was a huge fortress going around the city and it was beautiful. Right? Have you been to the Alhambra? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, right. You get married. <laughs> Ah, okay. So, yeah, um, by the way, famous people got married here, John Lennon and Yoko Ono in 1969, Sean Connery twice, Rod Stewart the second time, and the stupid bus driver the second time. <laughs> How's it going so far? Uh, that was a long time ago, can't even remember. So, back on Lineball Road, on the left hand side, King's Bastion again. On the right hand side, I showed you in the beginning, the synagogue here. The biggest one of the three we have, the Flemish one. And the city hall. Now, and in a second on the left hand side, you will see a monument. So, on the left hand side, you see with the brass plates on it, yeah. that's the American War Memorial. So, because the US Navy and the Royal Navy in World War One, they worked together. So, and that's built in 19, or erected in 1932. So, that means we are nearly at the end of a tour and i hope really you enjoyed yeah yeah for sure only two sides only two of us <laughs> okay <laughs> we'd love seeing jimmy the jimmy's cousin yeah jimmy's yeah. great we don't like talking behind your back yeah <laughs> they don't like talking behind your back oh, oh okay. <laughs> see <laughs> now you can tell me straight <laughs> Remember, I'm the only one who knows where you have to go now. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've got loads of tunnels inside the rock, I told you. So, yeah, for me, just to say thank you for your attention. Right, have a good trip. Enjoy your stay. Um, by the way, make sure when you leave the bus, when I drop you, that you don't leave anything behind. Right, make sure of any important things or whatever. So, like your passports? Yeah.